What if the fastest missiles ever created could be stopped before they even strike their target, and the nation pulling this off isn't who you might think? What if the fastest weapons ever built were suddenly useless? I'm talking about missiles moving so fast they were called unstoppable. Now one nation says it can stop them. This isn't science fiction, it's real and it's changing everything about war. Welcome to War Tech Zone. Today, we're going deep on Israel's new defense system, a project so secretive and advanced it could make every hypersonic missile on the planet a relic of the past. For years, military experts have said there is no defense against a hypersonic attack. That time is over. We're looking at a new kind of shield, not just a metal wall, but a living, thinking, and unbelievably fast network of machines. This system doesn't just block a threat, it sees it coming from hundreds of miles away, calculates its every move before it even makes it, and sends a killer to meet it head-on, faster than the blink of an eye. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how it works, and why it's the most important military breakthrough in a decade. But first, we need to understand the problem. What makes a hypersonic missile so scary? Think about a regular missile. It goes up high, follows a predictable path like an arch, and then comes down on its target. We call this a ballistic path. It's like throwing a rock. You can see where it's going. For decades, our defenses were built to stop these rocks. We built systems to watch that arc and smash the rock out of the sky before it lands. A hypersonic glide vehicle is a different beast entirely. First, it's fast. Hypersonic means at least five times the speed of sound. That's over a mile every single second. Second, and most importantly, it doesn't go high. It stays low in the atmosphere, skimming the edge of space. And third, it can turn. It can zigzag, dive, and change course mid-flight. It's not a rock. It's a smart, angry hornet moving at impossible speeds. That's the nightmare. How do you stop something you can barely see, that moves too fast to catch, and can change direction on a dime? For a country like Israel, this was not just a theory. Surrounded by rivals developing these very weapons, this nightmare was a real and immediate threat. They couldn't just build a better wall, they had to invent a whole new game. So, they did. Their answer is not one single weapon, it's a perfect dance of three technologies working as one. See, think, and strike. Let's break down each part, starting with how it sees. You can't hit what you can't see, and seeing a small, super-fast object weaving through the sky is maybe the hardest part. Traditional radar sends out a wave and listens for the bounce. It's good for big, slow things. A hypersonic missile is a tiny, hot speck moving at Mach 5 or more, and it can hide in the clutter of the ground or use electronic tricks to disappear. Israel's solution is like giving the system superhero eyes. They don't use one radar, they use a network of different radars, all looking with different types of vision. Some see long range, some see in incredible detail, and some are specially designed to ignore fake signals and electronic noise. This network layers all this information together to create one perfect, real-time picture of the sky. It can spot the heat signature of a missile engine from an incredible distance, track its exact shape, and filter out any decoys trying to trick it. This system sees the invisible. But seeing the threat is only step one. Knowing what it will do next is the real magic. This brings us to the brain of the operation, the artificial intelligence. At the speeds we're talking about, there is no time for a human to be in the loop. By the time a person sees the blip on the screen and decides what to do, the missile has already hit its target. The reaction time needed is measured in milliseconds. So, Israel built an AI that lives in those milliseconds. This isn't a simple computer program, it's a learning machine. From the moment the radar network spots a threat, the AI takes over. It analyzes everything, the speed, the angle, the tiny wobbles in its flight path. It takes this data and runs thousands of predictions per second. Where will this missile be in two seconds, in five seconds? If it dodges left, what will I do? If it dives, how do I follow? The AI is playing the world's fastest, deadliest game of chess, and it's playing against the missile's own guidance computer. It doesn't just react, it anticipates. It learns from every test, every simulation, getting smarter and faster all the time. 
it can also handle a swarm of attacks, keeping track of multiple missiles at once, deciding which one is the biggest danger, and planning the perfect counterattack for each one. This is the think part of the dance. It makes the decision no human ever could, fast enough to matter. Now, you've seen the threat, you've predicted its path, now you have to kill it. This is the strike. Enter the Interceptor Missile. This is the weapon that turns all that data and prediction into action. If the missile is a hypersonic hornet, the Interceptor is a hypersonic swatter. Its only job is to get from point A to point B faster than anything else, and smash into its target. To do this, it's a marvel of engineering. Its rocket motors are designed for instant, violent acceleration. It needs to go from zero to hypersonic speeds in just seconds to close the gap. But speed alone isn't enough. Remember, the target is dodging, so the interceptor is constantly talking to the AI brain. It receives constant updates, little course corrections sent via secure data links, steering it like a bullet that can change its mind. The most fascinating part? Many of these interceptors don't even have explosives. They don't need them. At these incredible speeds, physics does the work. They're what we call kinetic kill vehicles. They destroy the target purely by smashing into it with so much energy. Imagine two cars hitting head-on at impossible speeds. That's the level of force. This method is cleaner, with less risk of falling debris, and it's terrifyingly effective. So, you have this amazing three-part machine, the eyes, the brain, and the fist. But is one system enough to protect an entire country? Israel's real genius is in how they put it all together. They use something called a layered defense. Think of it like a castle with multiple walls. The outer wall deals with the first wave of attacks. The inner wall is stronger for the things that get through. Israel has been building these walls for years. You've probably heard of Iron Dome. That's the short-range wall, knocking down simple rockets from close by. Then there's David's Sling, the middle wall for bigger cruise missiles. Then the Aero System, the outer wall that hits big ballistic missiles high up in space. This new hypersonic defense system is a brand new special wall built right in the middle of all that. It's designed for that one specific gap, the high-speed maneuvering missile that slips past the arrow and is too fast for David's sling. All these layers are connected. They share information. They work as one giant intelligent shield. If one layer fails, the next one is already ready and waiting. It's a system of backups, and it makes the defense incredibly strong. Of course, a weapon is only as good as its test results. You can't just say it works, you have to prove it. Israel has put this system through hell in simulations. They test it against the worst possible scenarios, 10 missiles coming at once from different directions, each one performing crazy evasive maneuvers. They throw electronic jamming at it to try and blind it. They send fake decoys to try and fool it. The reports from these tests show a system that works. It has a very high success rate. This testing is what gives the generals and politicians confidence. It moves the technology from a cool idea in a lab to a real battle-ready tool they can count on. This proof is everything. Now, let's talk about why this matters for the whole world, not just Israel. The balance of power in the world is often about who has the best weapons. For the last few years, the big advantage was going to the countries with hypersonic missiles. They were the ultimate I-win card. You couldn't stop them, so having them meant you could threaten anyone. Israel's defense system changes that math. If one country can reliably shoot down these unstoppable missiles, then they are no longer unstoppable. The advantage disappears. This acts as a powerful deterrent. An enemy is less likely to launch an attack if they know it will probably fail. This new shield doesn't just protect Israel, it helps keep the peace by making a major attack seem pointless. It also starts a new race. Every other major military in the world is now watching. They see this technology working, and they have two choices. Try to buy it from Israel, or rush to build their own version. This is already pushing the United States, Russia, China, and Europe to speed up their own hypersonic defense projects. Israel isn't just defending itself, it's setting the new global standard for what defense technology should be. 
For Israel itself, the impact is huge. It provides a level of security they have never had before. It allows them to breathe a little easier and focus their military strategy on other things, knowing this critical threat is being handled. It's also a point of national pride and a massive business opportunity. This technology is worth billions, and other countries will want it. But what about tomorrow? The work doesn't stop. The scientists and engineers are already planning the next upgrades. They are looking at putting sensors in space to get even earlier warning, spotting a missile launch the second it happens from orbit. They are working on concepts for swarm interceptors, where a cloud of smaller, cheaper interceptors work together like a pack of wolves to take down a target. The goal is simple. Stay ahead. For every new spear the world invents, they want to have a stronger shield ready. This is the real story here. Israel's hypersonic defense is more than just another weapon system. It is a blueprint. It is proof that with enough focus, intelligence, and engineering, no weapon is ever truly unstoppable. It shows that defense can catch up to offense. In a world that feels increasingly dangerous, that's a powerful idea. We are witnessing the end of the unstoppable weapon. We are entering a we are entering a new age where technology, smarts, and speed can protect us from the worst threats imaginable. It's a story of human ingenuity against the physics of war. If you want to stay on top of the technologies that are reshaping our world, the real breakthroughs that change history, then you need to be part of this community. Make sure you like this video right now. It helps us bring you more deep dives like this one. And of course, subscribe to War Tech Zone. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update when we break down the next big thing. Now, I want to hear what you think. The race is on. Which country do you believe will be the next to build a system like this? Will it be the United States with its massive budget? Or will another nation surprise the world? Let me know your predictions down in the comments below. Thank you for watching.